guys, welcome back to my office and I've got in front of me the Eternity i10 radio system. It is a feature-packed radio that has a lot of great features that I'm going to go over with you right now. Now the first thing that you're going to notice about the i10 is that it is packaged fantastically well. And you know these boxes when you slide them apart, how you can never get them apart? Well they actually made a little air hole here so that you can actually take the lid off. It's an attention to detail. I don't know if that affects the quality of the product, but it was telling you that they were thinking about this product when they made it. First thing you're gonna stumble upon is your bus, which um, connects to your receiver and gives you functionality towards all of your uh, telemetry features. There is one, two, three, four telemetry items here, and I'll go over that in just a moment. But here it is. Here's the radio. Um, it looks great. I handled it yesterday. I played around with the menus and whatnot. So let's get into that. Let me just pull this out. Now, I was trying to think about who would be the ideal candidate for a radio like this. And I think it would be great for somebody who wants a full featured uh, telemetry based radio. Uh, and that has some fantastic features. This is a 10 channel radio, so you've got all kinds of switches and knobs and also double sliders as well here on the side of the radio. Now when you turn this on, you're going to pull down both buttons. And you'll hear some nice airplane sound effects. And the first thing that's going to strike you with this radio is, number one, the screen. And you have a little stylus down here on the bottom of the, of the radio pulls out just like this. Now you don't actually have to use the stylus, but this will take you into all of your menu functions and allows you to scroll through, but you can also do this with your finger. Maybe not quite as easily as the stylus, but in case you lose your stylus, then you know you, you're actually okay. Now like I said, it does come with uh, your receiver, a 10 channel receiver, and all the different telemetry features, and I'm going to go over that right now. You're going to get the iBus receiver, which plugs into your main receiver, which allows you to run all of your telemetry features here. The first one that we have is a voltage sensor that plugs directly into your balance lead. Your speed sensor, and this is a optical speed sensor, so you have some of this reflective material, which ha and this has an optical sensor right here. This is a magnetic speed sensor, so you are able to put a magnet on whatever it is you're trying to monitor, and it also has a sensor on the outside here. And this last thing is a temperature sensor, so if you wanted to monitor the temperature of your ESC, you can tape this right onto your ESC. Uh, brilliant, brilliant things uh, for a, a, I wouldn't call this entry level, but it's an entry level priced radio, it's about $160 from Hobby King. Uh, just amazing value for your money. Uh, one of my big questions was, does it have voice commands? And it does not have voice commands, but it does have a lot of audible alerts and beeps that will tell you what's happening with your radio and you can actually just look right down and see what type of alarms that you have uh, going on there. So so um, on the radio here you're going to see that we have two sliders on each side here, three knobs which are recessible, um, a three position switch here, two position here, two position here, two position here, a temporary switch that has spring loaded, two position here, two position here and an yet another three position switch right here. So lots and lots of options for setting up your radio and and being able to control all the things that you want to be able to control. So this is just a quick first look and now I am going to put this into my uh, Corsair. Okay guys, so this is my Parkstone Corsair. This is going to be my test platform for this radio. I'm going to take out my Spectrum radio which is what I'm used to and I'm going to put it in the trusty old Corsair. This is a fantastic flying airplane. I'd love to try out all these telemetry features. That would be uh, pretty awesome with this uh, radio. Now, um, everyone always asks with a radio, how do the gimbals feel? And they actually feel quite nice. It feels different than my Spectrum DX8. I think the DX8 I, is one of the best um, types of gimbals that I've ever seen. These are not as good as the DX8, but they are not as bad as a lot of radios that I've seen. Gimbals are on par with the Tyrannus gimbals. Um, it just has a little bit different feel of throw, which I'm just maybe not used to, but it doesn't feel bad. It doesn't feel plasticky or uh, uh, like it's not made with high quality. Now, one thing I didn't mention is it does come with your lithium ion polymer battery. This is a 3.7 volt uh, battery, and it, you basically have a USB charger port here in the back. 
You also have a trainer port, which is fantastic. Um, I don't usually use a trainer port because I'm not really teaching people how to fly, but I do use that for running long range uh, FPV um, UHF system. So pretty uh, cool radio. Guys, check it out and um, look forward to my flying video with this radio and this airplane coming up soon. Thanks. I forgot to turn it off for you guys. Here we go. Check it out.